some chocolate milk. Oh, yeah. I bet well, you like that, don't you? The South High School Food Pantry has been in business for six and a half years. Oh, come, I already knew that. <laughs> Jacqueline and Greg started the South High School Food Bank with their daughter when she was a student here, and she is now out of college. Oh, let me tell you something. It is so much needed, especially in the times that we're living in right now. We have a very multicultural high school. And so part of what I personally love about this food pantry is we serve kids and families from over 40 countries. And would you like some sausage? Yeah. You know what? It's a melting pot. You know what I mean? It's, it's so many different um, ethnic groups here. And just because it's in the area, Wash Park, we have a range of students that come here because their zip code happened to be just in our area. So it doesn't really matter uh, what the um, notion of what Wash Park is, it's still our community of, of our children. And we're not looking at backgrounds or anything. We're just happy that we can be able to be of service to our community here at South High School. Without the food bank, we, we would definitely be in a pickle. Uh, like I said, my mom got laid off some hours, so having the produce come to us really helped us out, really helped her out. It really made me happy as a person to be able to do that for my family. We treat all of our, our kids like their family. Yep. so they feel valued, loved, and respected here. And this past summer is the first summer we stayed open all year long because of COVID. Milk. Get milk. We realized that our families were going to have an extended need over the summer. Not that the need doesn't normally exist, but because during COVID, we weren't sure about what food resources would be out there. Um, we also knew that a lot of our families would be um, hit with job loss, more food insecurity. It's organically grown into this food pantry that serves 96 families a week, which translates into about 500 people. You are driving out with the 8,000th meal. Oh my gosh! Year. Every single week they're giving us groceries and they're giving us like bathing supplies, tissue, uh, we get snacks. We're always saving money with the food bank. We get food from We Don't Waste every week. We get food from Food for Thought and Food Bank of the Rockies. The City of Denver through the Healthy Kids for Denver grant gave us a large grant this year. Before we started operating under our COVID protocols, we would have up to 112 students a week who would come through the pantry. Everybody has milk. But because of COVID and we don't have the student contact we had. How about broccoli, everybody get broccoli? Uh, 33 families we deliver to every week and that number fluctuates a little bit based on whether or not somebody in the family has COVID. Thanks for making run again this week, guys. Sometimes they just need just that little bit to make ends meet. I'm glad you came, okay? Oh. I want you to come every week. They may be just like two meals away from not having anything in the freezer and they're just trying to figure it out. Like we always say, our goal here is to make sure none of our kids go to bed hungry at night.